Welcome back to Morning Extra. They say it's all in a name, and this one is sure to grab your attention. So what would you think of if we said Germ Ninja? Germ Ninja. It? It's a Waterford company from right here in Connecticut. They invented the device that was used in the Olympic Games recently. So joining us this morning to explain what it is and how it works is Mike Elmosnino uh, and Bill Wild. They are from Germ Ninja, and they've got one. How are you, gentlemen? Good to see you. Very good. Thanks for having us. All right, so Germ Ninja, this is it right here so tell us all what, about yeah, what it. does it do and why yeah. do you need it well it uh, it's a ultraviolet light sterilizer of athletic sports balls and it doesn't use any chemicals or anything like that it just sterilizes the balls as it passes through the chamber inside and uh, J Pro Sports in Waterford we've uh, just started manufacturing this product and uh, we were fortunate enough to, to have it out at the Olympics uh, this past uh, summer so it was at the Olympics it was in the uh, volleyball training centers mm -hmm. uh, where they trained both in California and then when they flew to London they uh, we had one delivered out to them in London at the training center. So it was used just for the, the ball, volleyballs? Uh, yeah, it's that, that that training center was just for the volleyballs. But could it be used for any balls? Yes, any balls, basketballs, elementary school play balls, any balls five inches to ten inches large. How did you come up with the idea? Yeah. Well, the uh, the actually the inventor is a doctor, orthopedic surgeon from California, Dr. Arthur Kreitenberg, and he put uh, his, his daughter played volleyball, competition volleyball, and uh, so he was sitting in the stands watching what happened to the balls a lot and thinking, uh, boy, and, uh, they're getting pretty dirty. They're licking their hands, or their feet, and no one ever cleaned the balls or did anything to them. And in his surgery room, they use ultraviolet light to, to uh, sanitize and sterilize the surgery room. So he mm. put two and two together and approached us with his idea, and we've taken it from there. So what was the development process like? How long did it take? It's been, it's been uh, almost three years in the process. It's a patented device, so it took a while to get the patent through. Uh, we've been working. We're a small company in Waterford, Connecticut, and so it's uh, resources uh, are tough to come by. So we just recently got a, a state grant from the Small Business Express grant, um, which has really helped us launch it in a big way. Who would buy something like this? Well, schools, athletic programs, universities, sports centers, uh, any athletic facility. Uh, right now, they're all doing things, spraying sanitizers on the floors and on the walls and on the training tables, but nobody nobody's does anything. Nobody treats the balls like and this like it was certainly like this nobody actually treats the at balls. all really so this kills germs what germs does it kill like why don't you fill them in um, well the main target that we're looking at is MRSA um, that's that's really the biggie um, but just about any any bacteria virus uh, E. coli uh, salmonella strep uh, non MRSA staph um, and there's a whole list. I mean, how can you be sure for, for the skeptics one. out there? They say, okay, wait a minute. I buy this machine. I put a ball in there. You turn a light on, and now right. it's somehow healthier for people well, to play you with. Know, this is this is um, very well known technology. This is not new technology in a sense that there's there's studies and lots of studies out there that show the effectiveness of UVC light on bacterial infection infectious germs. So we're, we're not the first to use right, UVC and, at all. It's right. So the technology is not new. The application is new. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's the unique, uniqueness of it. Does uh, the ball well. not just get dirty though? Once again, once you pull it out of the machine and start playing with it, it does. And that's you know. it's it's like anything. It's like washing your hands. It's like wiping down tables. The more you do it, the better. You're able to prevent uh, the spread of germs. If someone was infected while they were using the balls, um, and then someone else comes in and uses it, they're now infected. Mm -hmm. And if you watch a, uh, any sport game, the balls are passed around very quickly, so germs can spread very very quickly. And we've had programs around the country shut down because of various contagious diseases that have been happening uh, and this is just one more tool to help them prevent that. So is the aim to get these machines in schools, gyms, any type of other clubs? It is absolutely and we do have a program we've been approached by a number of businesses mostly in the medical field who uh, want to donate these products to the schools who are having trouble with funding right now right. Uh, to help them prevent uh, these diseases and put their name on and their logo and, oh, sure. and they buy it and then they donate it to the schools. How so much are they? It's just under three thousand dollars. Per just machine. under $3,000 okay. per machine. Been successful so far? You've so got, far, got them into the Olympics. We literally yeah. just launched it. So uh, we just started in the Olympics where you know, the coaches uh, were fantastic and really wanted to have it there. So. And how many of these are out there right now? Right now, uh, less than 10. Uh, we really have just only promoted it uh, just now. So uh, in order to get it to the Olympics, we had a rush and rush to, to just to get the first ones there. So yeah. they actually were the first ones to use it in, in, uh, uh, in, in its actual form. All right, gentlemen. That's great. Bill Wild, Mike. Mike 
Emos Nino. <laughs> Good I got a mic? That was close enough. Close. Better than most. Congratulations on your product, right. and thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Still so, coming here in Fox, Connecticut's Morning Extra, the five texts that you should never, ever, ever send. Ever.